Now, this is what I did want to do a uh, the live stream on, the most important, and which is the, the thumbnail of the live stream. And that is, why did the live action How to Train Your Dragon replace the image of Astrid? Why, they, why did they um, not pick somebody who resembles Astrid when it comes to the animation? Like the blonde hair, the blue eyes, the pale skin, or the white skin. Why? And uh, the director, since he is working, uh, the, the actual director of the animated DreamWorks uh, movies did explain why they went that route. And if... I'm hoping that, because I didn't read his comments as of yet, but I'm hoping that he didn't just say, well, it goes to the best, <laughs> uh, to, to the best uh, um, actress for the role. Uh, and the thing is, I don't see any reverse of what someone, like, let's say somebody white replacing a, an established, like, say, brown or black or yellow uh, uh, Asian character. No, I, I don't see that. I have never seen that in the reverse. It's always the it's always the white person, uh, white character being replaced by a different racial character, race character. Dean Blouse, director of the upcoming live action adaptation of How to Train Your Dragon and the original trilogy animation version of How to Train Your Dragon. I I put that in there. Has responded to criticism criticism about Nico Parker's casting as Astrid in the film. I'm surprised that they didn't mention her <laughs> as a uh, uh, or didn't not mention her, but I didn't we didn't see her in the teaser trailer. But they did release uh, first looks of her as Astrid and. I don't have those photos, but I did see her, and she doesn't have the blonde hair, and I don't think she has the blue eyes either. It's a totally different Astrid. How to Train Your Dragon will adapt the beloved 2010 animated movie in which America Fer Ferreira voiced Astrid in addition to Parker the cast of the live-action How to Train Your Dragon adaptation includes Mason Thomas, who is not a, a 10 or 11, but 14 years old. That should be something there, too. <laughs> um, however long uh, they continue this whole remix of the entire trilogy of How to Train Your Dragon, um, if they get to number three, I would assume that's like, what, 10 years? He'll be like, 24 when hiccup was what say 20 i say 18 to 20 around there gerard butler i think he was probably 16 maybe he was 16 gerard butler and nick frost ever since it was announced that nico parker will be portraying astrid in the live action movie some people have criticized the casting choice since parker is black he's not the uh just she's not uh she doesn't have fair skin <laughs> while well, the animated version of Astrid was white and it doesn't matter who voiced her even though America Ferreira is Hispanic doesn't matter who voiced her just the voice that's the, the problem is is that you don't see the reverse of a swap of the other way that's the thing like you want it should be the same like it doesn't right shouldn't shouldn't matter who plays the role then right of any character anymore let's say uh, black panther if it's played by a hispanic because what if i need representation what if i need representation and i want to see myself as a black panther uh, the person who plays black panther doesn't represent me right Recently, De Blouse posted his response to the criticism on Instagram defending the casting choice. The director argued that it makes sense for Astrid to be black in the world of the live action film instead of that Parker was the best actor for the role. 
<laughs> it made sense. What well, makes sense? Is it because they're out in the day? <laughs> what happened to the blonde hair, though? That's the thing. She doesn't have blonde hair. Uh, or was her wig off at the time that when they shot those photos of the sneak peek? Well, that's the thing. Let's uh, read his full comments below. Well, at least they didn't blame it on it. Well, she was the best part for the role. It makes more sense that the, the he argued that it's made more sense for her to be black because I don't know. We'll find out. Exactly. We ad auditioned many actors for the role, including actors who looked like their animated counterparts. But we chose the actors who best embodied the spirit and personality of the characters. <sighs> My opinion, this thing should have never happened ever. But it's going to be made no matter what. <laughs> um, the best option would be for what I did with uh, The Little Mermaid is not watch this movie. If you don't like what they're doing. You don't like the characters that they uh, race swapped with. And in my opinion, don't watch the movie. Just like I didn't like them replacing the uh, white mermaid <laughs> with a black mermaid. That's my opinion. They shouldn't have done that. They should have stuck to the story that they represented us for the last, what, 20-something years, 15 years. I don't know how long ago was The Little Mermaid, but for that long. <laughs> Since the tribe in this version is made up of descendants of the finest dragon uh, fighters from everywhere the Vikings had ever traveled, Burke. Still, we're crafting a fantasy, not historical fact. Well, if you look at Vikings, um, how many, well, I don't know. There could be some black people that were black. I mean, that were not black, but Vikings. I don't know. It is, it is true. That is fantasy. And the thing is, is that why represent something that's supposed to be fantasy and represent a character that you represented for three movies and a couple of TV shows, animated TV shows to be exact, as the character that you had her as. And then just automatically switch up just because it makes sense for a live action version. Why don't you just not make uh why just not make hiccup brown, right? Why not? Doesn't matter, right? Should go to the uh cause it will make sense, right? I don't know what makes sense for I don't know. There's a lot of confusion here. All will be revealed in time. We're not making a shot for shot remake. Like I said, this movie should never happen at all. You're just like Disney <laughs> right now. You're just regurgitating something just, just in a different way. That's the thing. What's the point of watching this if you're just going to remake the entire thing and then have a different representation of a character than you had for the people that watched it when they were, say, 10 years old? People are going to be having questions this is why people have questions because you change the characteristics of a character that they loved for so many years the tease features a few of those moments instead of a complete new tale we aimed to embellish and deepen without abandoning the story that fans love like a the only thing I can say is this movie should never have been made ever, ever, ever. And if you wanted to make a version of How to Train Your Dragon, but not with the title. The, re the reason that you're using this movie is just so that you can make as much money as you can from the fans of the original animated trilogy. And that's the thing. That's the only reason why you're doing this is this. You're just kind of trying to milk as much money as you can from the fan base of the original. And then the more you're out there, it's just the old adage, adage of any news, no matter good or bad, 
is good is good or any publicity or yeah any publicity good or bad is still good publicity